The Politics of Experience Slash The Bird of Paradise by R. D. Lang is a groundbreaking work that delves into the intricacies of human experience, mental illness, and the societal constructs that influence our perceptions. This thought-provoking book, published in 1967, challenges conventional views on madness and offers a profound analysis of the human psyche. Lang, a Scottish psychiatrist, begins by dissecting the concept of normality in society. He argues that our definition of normality is constructed by those in power, and anyone who deviates from this constructed norm is often labeled as mentally ill. Lang contends that this societal labeling can be a form of oppression and control, inhibiting individuals' freedom of thought and expression. One of the central ideas in the book is the concept of ontological insecurity. Lang suggests that many people in society experience a profound sense of insecurity about their existence and place in the world. This insecurity often manifests as anxiety, depression, or other mental health issues. Lang's exploration of this concept provides valuable insights into the human condition and the roots of psychological distress. Throughout the book, Lang emphasizes the importance of understanding the subjective experience of those who are labeled as mentally ill. He argues that traditional psychiatric approaches often fail to consider the unique perspectives and experiences of individuals struggling with mental health issues. By neglecting this aspect, he believes that we perpetuate a cycle of dehumanization and stigmatization. In The Bird of Paradise, a metaphorical narrative within the book, Lang presents a powerful allegory for the human condition. He tells the story of a bird that is born in captivity and raised in a sterile environment, never experiencing the natural world. When the bird is finally released into its native habitat, it is unable to adapt and faces extreme challenges. This allegory highlights the difficulties that individuals labeled as mentally ill may encounter when reintegrating into society after treatment. Furthermore, Lang criticizes the medicalization of mental illness. He argues that psychiatric diagnoses and treatments often focus on suppressing symptoms rather than addressing the root causes of psychological distress. He suggests that traditional psychiatry tends to pathologize normal responses to a dysfunctional society, and this approach can lead to overmedication and a lack of genuine understanding. The politics of experience slash the bird of paradise also addresses the role of family dynamics in mental illness. Lang suggests that familial relationships can be a source of emotional turmoil and that mental health issues are sometimes a result of these troubled relationships. He calls for a more holistic approach to therapy that involves the entire family and acknowledges the impact of familial dynamics on individual mental health. In terms of politics and society, Lang argues that the prevailing power structures often contribute to the oppression of marginalized groups and exacerbate mental health issues. He critiques the social institutions that perpetuate inequality and argues that true healing cannot occur without addressing these systemic issues. Lang's work has had a significant impact on the field of psychiatry and psychology, as well as on the broader discourse on mental health and society. His emphasis on empathy, understanding, and the subjective experience of individuals challenged the dominant paradigms of his time. While some of his ideas have been controversial and have faced criticism, the politics of experience slash the bird of paradise remains a seminal text that continues to inspire discussions on the nature of mental illness and the societal forces that shape our lives. In conclusion, R. D. Lang's The Politics of Experience Slash The Bird of Paradise is a thought-provoking exploration of the complexities of human experience, mental illness, and societal norms. Lang's critique of traditional psychiatric approaches, his emphasis on empathy and understanding, 
and his allegorical narrative all contribute to a profound analysis of the human condition. This book challenges readers to reconsider their preconceived notions about madness, normality, and the role of society in shaping our mental health. It remains a relevant and influential work in the fields of psychology, psychiatry, and social theory.